Okay, so I'm going to change the length of this finger by just simply moving some of these polygon um, vertices to make it a bit shorter. And that should be pretty good. So F8 to get object mode. And I'm actually going to scale it up a bit because I think it's a bit too small. And just to check it's in the right good position. So, so I'm just rotating it to get the, the gist of the fingers, like so. So that's looking quite nice at this stage, for what I want. Okay, so moving on. Now I need to kind of match this so-called palm of my hand, which is this piece here, with my fingers. Where the fun sort of starts to happen. Alright, so let's do that. So I'm going to introduce the snap tool uh, at this stage. The snap tool uh, is basically one of these tools at the top here. Snap the grid, snap the curve, snap the point, another snap to the grid but more in 3D, and a general snap. The one I'm interested in is snap the point. So when I talk about snap, I'm going to snap the point here. So this what I'm going to snap though is I'm going to snap the, the palm piece of my hand, not the actual fingers, because I'm happy with the arrangement of my fingers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I will go into vertex mode or F9, and I will go switch on the snap. And this is really cool because it's just a case of selecting what you want and moving it into position. It'll snap. I just press F on the keyboard which will zoom you right in. Now, to be really careful if he snaps. So for instance, if you're snapping this somewhere else, it can actually snap to a vertex that you didn't expect down the back there. So do be very careful that it will snap to whatever. So it's a good idea to rotate your model around uh, in order to see what's going on. I'm just going to switch off my grid, it's annoying me. So just continuing with the snap. Another snap. Okay. I'm going to shift M. I'm going to go to X-ray and shading. So I can see those hidden vertices behind here. Like so. Alright. So it looks kind of nice. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this part of the palm and move it up a bit. Whoops, snap is still on. Snap off. And bring it up so it's a bit closer. Okay, so I need to cut in some more detail here in order to fit the other fingers. So, in base mode, which will be F8 on the keyboard. Whoops. Just turned on the wrong tool. Uh, paintbrush or paint canvas. Um, anyway, I'm going to start cutting in some more detail into this so I can fit the other fingers. So just using the cut tool, it's going to go really quickly here, cut once there. Oops, actually have the right one selected. Come on, cut. Okay, it's getting kind of interesting. Again, Y to repeat. Okay, that's better. Okay, cut once there. This is sort of a bit of webbing between your fingers. Uh, up here, I'm just going to cut once here. It's snapping to my curse. I should just continue. Okay, cut straight across the center. Just to make my life a little bit easier. And Y again. Yeah, so it's a much nicer cut. And I'll do it here as well. And the position of this is not very important because I will use snap uh, to bring your ink in the line. Okay, so shaded. Let's go to X-ray again. <clears throat> and 
and actually wireframe on shade it has disappeared and that was because I went into canvas mode earlier so don't be too stressed over that one um, so F9 to get into this mode let's turn on the snap again and just start snapping away okay so those lines are cut in the center here obviously we'll link these edges of the fingers around and let's snap that up here snap that up here okay so this is a pretty simple process it just doesn't involve too much guesswork but one step at a time and just be careful that you are snapping to the correct points as mentioned earlier you can snap it down to some other part of the mesh and only discover it later on that that actually happened okay so snap that in snap that in there snap that in there okay so I need to work on some detail across the top here so I get object mode let's go to the cut tool one more time and start cutting across the top here and I'm going to cut oops, one's here and another time to here to here and this is just a basic cut again, cut again, cut again process connect this to here this to here so this is kind of like repeat yourself over and over and over and over again so it's a bit of a no-brainer exercise actually and here and of course I'm just going to cut to here okay so F8 mode again I'm still in the snaps so I can continue to basically snap this all up into position. Continue with the creation of the hand. I'll just turn off that snap and I'm going to move these into a nicer alignment, which is why I cut it the way I did. So I'm trying to maintain the lines of topology here. Okay, Nice straight clean lines that are easy to interpret and there is no guesswork whatsoever. Or well, there shouldn't be any guesswork. So I'm just going to continue cutting. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Cut. Okay, that's another nice cut. And of course along the bottom of the model here. Like so. Okay. Snap view model. Okay, get that up. So it can be a little bit quirky to tool sometimes. Don't worry about it. Just persevere. All right, and just gonna cut once from here, and one more cut here. Cut from up this edge this time. Once again. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the new cut tool. I've sort of changed it enough to make it slightly annoying. See, I'm not cut in the wrong spot. Okay, one more cut here. Oops. Okay. And get back to the snap tool, and then we're going to snap. We're going to switch it on, of course. Snap. And snap. Make sure it snaps. See, it snapped to the wrong one, so it's a good idea to rotate the check. And so on and so forth. Turn off the snap tool, and just work on your topology flow here. Making sure everything's nice and sweet. 